Hello, Tyler DeWitt here. So I'm going to go over the eight no-nos of content creation. One, too long of content. Keep it straight, simple, and to the point. Just because your content is 1,500 words and somebody else's content on the same topic is 750 words does not necessarily mean your content is better. More is not always better. Just like when you go to the gym, a lot of people get the wrong idea about going to the gym. And I'm just using this as an analogy. People will see these big bodybuilders and they're like, they go to the gym like seven days a week. And that's not always true. More is not always better. In fact, I train out here in Los Angeles, California and Venice Beach where some of the top athletes in the, the world train. In fact, some of the top athletes in the gym get in and out within 45 minutes to an hour and they go to the gym four days a week. Your content should be the same way. Your content should be simple, straightforward. More is not always better. So keep that in mind. Too many images. We have clients that contact us still today. They'll put up 50 images on their page, yet they're optimizing for search engine, opti or they're optimizing for Google. Google is looking for font, text, links. So include more text on your pages. You don't need a lot, but having 50, now Instagram is an image machine. It's an image sharing social network. Use Instagram if you're gonna be carried away with images. Not too many people go to Google images like they would using the search itself. People go to Google, open it up and they do a search. Images are not bad. You want to include them, of course, but don't get overly carried away putting 50 images on there with two or three words under the image. You know, especially if you're doing storytelling. People would like to read what you have to say, too. Keyword stuffing. We see people all the time, still the day, that's contacting us that are saying, include my keyword. You know, I want to optimize for this keyword. It's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You know, 50 keywords, or that same keyword repeated of overly like 50 times in a 500 word article doesn't make sense. You don't need this keyword stuff. That's what they used to call it in the old days. It's not year 2000. And besides that, people will, you know, doubt your expertise. You don't need to stuff keywords. Google's smarter than that. They'll know how to rank your content and they'll see the keywords in there. Not focusing on the user. A lot of people will write thinking of what they like when you should be focusing on answering the user's question. A good way of doing this is to use Ahrefs or SEMrush Google Keyword Planner. Find out what people are asking in your industry. Understand your customer understand their needs, understand their questions, and start answering those questions in your content. Six, bad grammar. Now, everybody does not have A-plus grammar. I see some of the best executives in the world that can't even write that good. I have even CEOs I talk to of Fortune 500 companies that send me emails with grammar errors all the time, believe it or not. And I'm not saying it's okay because it's not. So be sure to proofread your content. I even have hired professional writers in the past that even make mistakes in their writing. I'll open it up and I just notice and it's like, whoa, wait a minute, fix that. So do the best that you can on your grammar. People are not going to hold it against you if they see an error here and there on your blog. But on your home page, your product pages, your service pages, all that, make sure that's A+. You don't want to have any grammar errors there. Now on your blog, you don't want to have any grammar errors there. But what I'm saying is people place less attention on your blog versus what they would a product page or service page, if that makes any sense. Not getting to the point in your content. Some people go on, on, and on. I even see speakers doing this at speaking engagements. A lot of them will go on and on. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? Like, what are we talking about? Are we going to get to the point? I want to hear the key takeaways. I want to know what's going to work. I want to know how about the 10x my marketing operations to take it to the next level? I'm not looking to walk out of here and be average, right? And I was thinking, though, I was the only person thinking that at times. Come and find out the whole entire audience is thinking that. So there's nothing wrong with, you know, being a good speaker or a good writer is not about how much you produce. It's more about focusing on the key elements. Less, if you can do it more efficiently, 
in less time, then you got it made. That's what you need to do. No need to take up people's more time than what's necessary, and you want to get the point across. Number eight, salesy content. Salesy content is by far the worst type of content you can have out there nowadays, unless if it's a PPC ad, maybe it'll make sense. If it makes sense to make it salesy, go for it. But if it's like on a blog and your point is to educate, then sell, to build engagement, to nurture that audience, don't get so salesy in the content. You know, don't write something up where you're trying to sell something. Sometimes people just want to learn about a product before they buy it. They, you know, they'll be looking for something and they're like, well, I don't know. But if you communicate the value and why they need it without trying to sell it right away, you'll find out your conversions will do a lot better. Your engagement will be a lot higher. So just to go over these eight key factors again, one, too long of content, two, too many of images, three, keyword stuffing, four, not focusing on the user, five, boring content, six, bad grammar, seven, not getting to the point, eight, content that's too salesy. So keep those eight key factors in mind when you're building content and watch your digital marketing improve tremendously. Thank you.